So there's a YouTuber here who goes by the name of Gazi Kadoz Kadozo? Kadoz? Kadoz? I can never say names. Sorry. It's just kind of my thing. I know faces is better than names. But anyways, on June 20th of this year, he recently uploaded a video called Don't Tip White People. Now, I've heard it before of this guy being considered, uh, quote-unquote, the Black Hitler. And after watching this video, I can't believe it, that something, something so stereotypical almost sounds fucking true as hell. Because it's, it's unbelievable that the shit that he spews out, basically... I, I can't even get into it. Let's let's just watch the beginning, first 30 seconds of the video, and you'll see what I mean. Aquaba, y'all. So, a couple months ago, an African in South Africa, a.k.a. Azania, um, said that he was not going to pay his white waitress. He said verbatim on the receipt slip. He said, I will give you a tip when you give me my lamb back. And that got me thinking. I was like, you know what, Uhuru? He is right. He is lit. He is factual. And that got me thinking, as an African in America, why am I giving Cave Becky tips when Cave Becky hasn't given me my reparations, okay? Oh, God, I can't believe it. Oh, fuck. I think my brain about imploded. But unfortunately, he's right. Not about what he stated, but unfortunately, this was actually a true story. I could not believe this was an actual story. But yes, uh, a fucking black guy did not tip his waiter, uh, Kwasabe or whatever, did not tip his waiter just because she was white. And actually, and actually stated what he said on the receipt. Now, I don't know in South Africa how their wages are or anything like that, but I know here in the United States, that kind of shit is, is out of line. When you're a waiter on in any in any fucking restaurant whatsoever, that job is incredibly stressful to begin with. Not only is it the fact that you're dealing with all kinds of fucking different customers that some of them you might not, might even know personally or some of them that you have no idea of and they're just being completely rude and all that. But at the same time, you're not getting paid worth a shit. Unfortunately, here in the United States, tippers do tippers need to understand that a waitress does not get paid for shit. Ever since the prohibition started, fucking business companies have been screwing waiters waiters over for the longest time ever. Fucking Adam Ruins Everything was a great example and actually pointed that out and listed an excellent source, if you ask me on that one, about how waiters and waitresses get screwed all the time because of what happened during, during the Prohibition ages. Uh, so for this to, to work in the United States would literally undermine and destroy waiters and waitresses to begin with. And it's just out, out, asininely stupid. Let's flip the scenario, though. Let's say this is a white customer uh, getting this, saying this exact same thing to a black waitress or waiter, whatever. It, 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 you would completely flip the scenario and say, nah, you have to tip her. You have to tip them. You can't just do that. You can't just say that kind of shit and get by with that. <clears throat> we black. We can't do that. No, no, that shit. You know, you, we do that shit. We can't get away with it. We'd have a gun to our head, such and such, yada, yada, fucking yada. We've all heard this shit before. But again, I, I don't even, I can't even contemplate this. For this to work in the United States, a waitress would have to get paid worth the shit. And unfortunately, they do not. So when you're here in the United States, again, you have to tip. So the title of the video, to tip K Becky or not tip K Becky, that is the question. And the question is, no, no, I'm not going to pay you, girl, because you owe me reparations. You haven't paid me for all that free labor to build this goddamn nation, to build this economic system, to build your goddamn military, to build your bank system, all that, all that, girl, everything, everything, girl, we work for me, mick, me, mick, and you haven't given me reparations, girl? Reparations for what? Just for being black? Yeah, I would love to see that actually fucking happen. But if you're getting, if you're doing free labor, quote unquote, uh, why aren't you contacting OSHA? There are systems in place and scabbed labor is not allowed in the United States, period, from any company, period. It's, it, I, I can't even believe that you just spewed that out of your mouth. No one owes you shit. Get a fucking job. <laughs> This is why places such as OSHA and unions exist for a fucking reason. They're designed to fight for your rights when it comes to work and work ethics and work code of conducts, such and such, etc. If you're really getting screwed, then why aren't you contacting your local OSHA, OSHA representative and telling them, Hey, I'm getting screwed on, say, my wages or my work, 
And no, you did not fucking do that. Don't fucking try and bullshit anybody. Yeah, you can probably claim that your slave ancestors back fucking a hundred years ago built this country, but you personally did not. And and it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's kind of fucking sad that we built this country on slave on slavery. It, it is kind of fucking sad. But we learn from the past and we move on. We don't sit there and drag on in the past and say, well, it could help ease the pain for reparations. Fucking A. And then, you know, Cave Becky and Troglodyte Tom, you know, white cave kids, be all like, well, you know, why are we paying you? Why are we paying you? You weren't a slave. Your mama wasn't a slave. Well, those Native Americans that you are paying reparations to right now, that ain't Pocahontas, boo-boo. That ain't Littlefoot. That ain't Black Bear, okay? They been, you been stole their land hundreds of years ago and you still paying them reparations. So you can pay me reparations for what you did to my people a hundred and a couple years ago, boo-boo. Okay, key word here, native. As in, they were the first. As in, they are the originals. As in, they are from the United States. You know, before it was called the United States. They were the first people here and we stole slash bought land from them. Ugh. There's the only the only time I could see any other race other than Native Americans getting reparations would be the Japanese from when World War II happened when they were sent to concentration camps. That was the only time I've ever heard anyone else getting reparations. And why the fuck like okay, if you can literally prove that your fucking ancestors all the way back when are from are Native Americans, then yeah, you can get it. And and I can't believe you're confusing reparations with sovereignty, with native sovereignty. I, I, I just, I, I can't even contemplate that right now. There's a huge difference between reparations and sovereignty. First off, when it comes to Native American tribes, they are considered dependent, independent. They're not dependent. They're not reliable on nothing. That's why they don't pay taxes on their lands. Because they are self-sufficient, self-sustained. Those tribes are allowed to make rules and regulations inside of their areas alone. They own that land. They literally own it. And the government can't do shit about it because of the contract that they signed back in 1963. Do a fucking simple history examination. Take a fucking history class. And you would learn about this kind of shit. Native means from here. They are from here. They are Native Americans. There's a huge difference. You and me would not get reparations because we're immigrants. By technical standards, we are immigrants. African American and German. There you go. How fucking hard is that? You can trace your roots all the way back, and I can guarantee it. Three-fourths of your fucking ancestors are going to be all the way back. One of them is going to be the one that traveled from Africa to the United States. Guarantee fucking tea it. Just, I just guarantee fucking tea it. And you know, and you know what? Fine. You can sit here and say, uh, your ma my mom wasn't a slave. <laughs> Unless she was involved in human trafficking, that'd be the only way I could see you getting, getting reparations for anything. At all. And being on the witness protection program. That would be the only way I could see anybody getting reparations for anything. But then, we're, we're conflicting, you're conflicting again, as I stated earlier, uh, reparations with tribal sovereignty in the United States and there's a huge difference between the two. And that is not that is not even how debt works, girl. That is not even how debt works, Cave Tom. That's not even how it works. Okay? That don't even sound right. So because you late on your payment, that's going that, that evaporates your debt. That evaporates what you owe me. That's not how that works. That's like if T-Mobile call me now and it's like ring ring ring. Oh, who this Gazi? What good? Hello, Gazi. This is Cindy, and I'm just calling so we can rectify the situation of you owing us two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. And I'd be like, "Well, Cindy, how long you been working at T-Mobile? Because you sound new." Hi. Well, I've been working here for like a week or so. Uh, uh, Cindy, I don't owe you shit. Okay, this is a past due payment of a month, girl. I don't owe you nothing. You only been working here a week, girl. I, I, this bill is a month old. And Cindy be like, "Well, let me get my manager. Okay, she's been working here longer than me. All right, bring her. Bring her." So, hello. This is Stephanie, the manager, and I'm here to rectify the situation of the $237 that you owe, Gazi. Uh-uh, girl, how long you been working there? I've been working here at T-Mobile for a year and a half now. 
Well, girl, this contract was signed up, okay, four years ago, girl. So I don't owe you shit, girl. I don't owe you. Oh my fucking god, he did it. I can't believe you fucking did it. Oh, <laughs> okay, you do not owe Cindy, the gal who you're using this example, who has only been working with quote unquote T Mobile for a week now. You don't owe her shit. You owe T Mobile. You are paying for T Mobile services. You owe T Mobile, not Cindy. In order for you to owe Cindy personally, you would have to ask money from her, kind of thing. In a sense, with T Mobile, you are asking for their services in exchange for money. Okay? 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 And, and with and with the manager thing, oh my god! <laughs> a contract lasting more than contracts don't last more than four year, more than two years, on any mobile device plan unless you extend it. And even then, it's not the same plan because then you switched over to a different plan. I've done this kind of shit before, but with with you sitting here saying, oh well, the manager's only been here for a year and a half, therefore I don't owe them. No, you don't owe them shit. <laughs> you owe T-Mobile. There's a huge fucking difference between owing some actual, between owing somebody money and owing a company money. You are using their phone and you are using their services. Therefore, you owe them money. You owe the company money. You don't owe the person in. Ch you don't owe Cindy or the manager any money whatsoever. If anything, your fucking money is going towards paying their paychecks to an extent. If you think about it, because. <laughs> if you didn't pay your fucking bill, then they would probably have to downsize, and Cindy and the manager would probably lose their jobs. So thanks, you just you just blew up the job in market. Shit, okay, you wasn't there when I signed that bill, girl. I owe Tom. Where Tom at? Um, I don't know who Tom is. I don't know who that is. Girl, Tom is the nigga that signed me up in my contract in New York, okay, in Flatbush. That's the only nigga I owe. So he's the only nigga that can call me, okay? I owe you shit. Click. Okay, again, you don't owe Tom, Cindy, Stephanie, whatever. You don't owe them money. You owe T-Mobile money. If you look at the fine print of your contract, you owe T-Mobile, not them. Tom is the one who is the coast, quote unquote co signer, stating that you are going to be in good faith paying this bill to an extent. On the time frame. And, and, and you're mixing up this. Reparations don't work like that. It doesn't work like that at all. It's not something that you just keep on fucking paying off and paying off and paying off until uh, you fucking don't owe them any more money. No. Reparations don't work like that at all. In fact, reparations with the Japanese only work with the people who were absolutely actually afflicted by this thing who were actually sent to the camps their families aren't getting money the people affiliated with them aren't getting money anymore so and with you and with, and with you, you 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 won't even be satisfied with it just being you it would have to be literally everyone which would completely undermine the economy and completely destroy it Ugh. i i i can't even i can't even fathom this right now you you expect Hard-earned tax dollar money to go to to you on grounds for what? On grounds for what? You being black? Sorry, that's not how it works. If that was the case, anybody could claim reparations, whether they're black, white, Asian, Muslim, Hindu, etc., fucking etc. That's not how reparations work, and that's not how it, it, how sovereignty even works. It's not even how debt works. It's not a debt that they owe you. Ugh. Why am I trying to explain this to somebody who should have gotten a high school education at least and would have had this kind of shit explained to them? That's not how that works. That's not how that works. I can't get away with that. So you can't get away with owing reparations just because you late on your goddamn payment, girl. You still owe me. And until you pay me reparations, you ain't getting no tip, okay? You already forced me to pay taxes. I pay taxes for you to continue this prison industrial complex system that oppresses African people. Okay, I pay you taxes to have these police terrorize my community. That's forced, okay? That's forced, girl. This is tip is not forced, I say. Again, you live in the United States, and they live on their fucking tips. You're going to sit there and tell me that if it was a black waiter or waitress, you're not going to tip them because you can't, you can choose to opt out of it? Oh, my fucking God. And, and that's also not how taxes work. Try. Fucking Try not to pay your taxes and see how fast the IRS fucking impounds your ass. Just try it. 
you owe, you don't owe, that's not how fucking taxes work. You, you don't like owe money. You know, and taxes don't go straight just, just to, to police, to enforce laws. Yeah, yeah, police brutality happens. And unfortunately, it's a huge problem here in the United States. But it doesn't happen to just black people. It's happened for fucking years now. And something needs to be done about it, yes. But sitting here acting like a fucking crybaby on YouTube and saying that people owe you reparations for it isn't going to solve the problem. Now, is it? <clears throat> Your tax dollars don't only go towards the police. It goes towards the hospital that keeps you alive when you're in emergency care from a police beating the shit out of you. It also goes towards the roads that you drive on, that's the car that you're in right now. It also goes towards improving the parks and recreations and, and wildlife preservations. Uh, it also goes towards paying other types of debt not just when it comes to police military police and military it, it, I, I, I can't even believe that you would sit here and say that that this guy is right for not tipping his waiter only on the grounds because he's white this is why people call you the black Hitler you literally are racist against white people and it's fucking pathetic this 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 whole thing in society anymore where we've gone complete 180 and instead of it being whites hating on blacks it's blacks hating on white and suddenly it's okay it's not okay it's not okay for anyone to hate any race on the grounds of just because of that race or just because of that ideology it's fucking stupid and it's fucking pathetic hate them based upon their actions sure your actions speak louder than words and with you sitting here posting this kind of shit on YouTube it's speaking very clearly that you don't care about anybody whatsoever other than your own grounds and you're nothing more than a crybaby who thinks people owe you money just because you're black sorry that's not how reparations work at all and again you mixed up native american you mixed up with native americans and their sovereignty and their acts that have been in place since 1963 so fucking deal with it and get a fucking life and just I, I, I can't I don't even know what else to say without without going full on insult here so I'm just gonna leave it at this and, and, and just let people decide from there go ahead comment whatever the fuck you want see you I'm sure there's something I missed I, I I'm just sure of it because my mind has literally just fucking imploded watching this and listening to him I, I'm sure I missed something